The following contest is a two out of three falls match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 575 pounds, Guys, Dr. we have two of WWE's Jerry most exciting Graham. teams ready to go here tonight and in tag team action. And I can tell you that the Graham. entire tag team division has eyes on this match right now. That's how big this one is. And their opponents. At a combined weight of 394 pounds, Bart Ward and Adam West. Stay with us. We've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams come into tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past. Both legal men are in the ring, and set to start oh, things off here, we're ready to go. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Get in there, ref. He's starting to stumble here, but not for a second do oh, I expect man. him to back down now. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack, though the thought of making a tag oh. doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. Tag. Focused attack on the back. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. Looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots. But I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever. And what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record setting 483 days. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown tag team champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural tag team champions. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown tag team champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation. We know what's coming here. Is he done? And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Harsh impact. 
impact. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Tagged in. Oh, flying forearm on the mark. Oh, ho, ho, ho. He looks a bit off his game Ooh. here. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The two out of three falls match, you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus as a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked. Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus. Oh my goodness. That'll hinder your modeling career. Just when you thought he had nothing left. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is good. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the... Here we go. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Impactful. It'll jar your spine. This might be the opportunity he needed. That'll readjust your spine. Corey, a few moments. Oh, what impact. This might be it, guys. There's a pin now. Oh, and the ref gets taken out. What's he made of? Paper mache? Elbow. Did you see that? He's on his heels. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. It's make or break time here. He absolutely has to find a way to get back on the offensive if he wants to win this match. in off the tag. This might be it. Oh, my. Boom. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Up and knee drop. Jeez. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Oh, and a snap there! That'll give you a whiplash. Another 
great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. create some space for himself. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? But remember, guys, his opponent has a long way to go if he's looking to even things up here. Such vicious strikes. He looks absolutely exhausted. It's about as bad as it gets for him. Guys, you can tell he's drained, but I guarantee you that won't stop him from doing everything he can to win this thing. Ooh, right in the face! Destroyed! <laughs> Guys, this is tag team competition at its absolute best. And he's heading back in. What a match this has been, guys. And it's starting to look like these superstars are beginning to feel the effects. Whoa! Cross body! Looks like he's starting to falter. You can bet this is... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Nothing fancy about that. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. Nailed it. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Putting it all on the line. We know what's coming here. Wow. What a splash. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. We've got a cover. One, two, three. Let's take another look at these guys in action. He ain't playing here. He's getting it done here. Oh, I can't believe this. He really put on a great show. Here are your winners, Bart Ward and Adam West. That's a win worth celebrating. With wins like that, there's no way these two should even think about splitting up. Just my opinion. As hard as it will be not to think about that amazing match we just saw, we must move on here, guys.